All right, so I'm going to show you how I add an image to a project that I've already started um, and also have to trace the image. Uh, pretty simple process, but uh, just just thought I'd share some share a tip that, that I use. So I've already got the project started, just a, just a to do list far from done, but um, so basically I've already got all my vectors uh, kind of in groups here, but I'm going to go ahead and lock those and turn them off because it's just easier that way. And we'll work in the default layer. Um, so I go to pull my image in, uh, bitmaps, import. Um, I've saved, I know where I saved my image at. It's just a simple check mark. Um, so now um, this is a pretty easy one, so I'm just going to trace it and uh, I'll add these curves in in just a second. Cool. I'll do some node editing. a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, they're going to be fairly small anyway, so I'm not going to notice all these little details All right, so that'll do. Turn off the bitmap now. So now I'm going to save this uh, check mark uh, so we can just highlight it, vector, export. And I'm going to save it in my CarveCo library. So then that way it shows up in my vector library here and under objects. And we'll call it check mark. Cool. So now that's turned off. Now I can turn on my other stuff. And now I have my check mark. That's just how quick little tip how I like to work anyway. Um, if you're not familiar with using the uh, different um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Layers, vector layers, and bitmap layers. I highly, highly recommend getting familiar with that. It, it really being able to lock and unlock vectors, and um, I typically try and work in a default layer and then save my um, uh, save the original vector. Um, as a different layer and that way if I screw something up or want to go back or um, add something from the original um, I can I can get that back and I don't have to like undo a whole lot of work that I was doing or something like that but yep yeah, anyway um, everything sh the check mark should show up here in objects and there you go and if I want to bring in another check mark or I don't know whatever later on um, it's in there and if you add the image into the same 
folder in the vector library, it'll be it'll show up like this. If you don't have a picture in there, then uh, it's it's not gonna you're not gonna see it. It's just gonna be a name. Um, but yeah, hope that helps.